my son guests, happy Sunday. God bless you for coming to Sunday school. Our God will do you good. But before we go into our lesson, let us close our eyes and pray. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, we are so grateful. Thank you for bringing us to Sunday school this morning. Thank you for your faithfulness and mercy upon our lives. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for every one of us. Jesus, we have come to Sunday school to learn of you, Lord. Jesus, please come and teach our hearts. Help us, Almighty God, to be the doers of your words. All the good plans you have for our life, God, let them come to pass for the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Genesis chapter 41, verse 41. Boys and guests, look up and look at this beautiful gate. That's a nice toy. It's a gift given to my daughter when she was young. That's another nice gift given to her. Sometimes people may even decide to wrap beautiful gifts for us. Maybe during our birthday ceremony or as Christmas gift. However, sometimes we may not even like the gifts. In our lesson today, somebody was given a special gift from God. And he used this gift for the glory of God. And God used this gift to bless him. In the course of our lesson, we learn more about the person and the type of gift. Boys and girls, the title of our lesson today is A Dream Come True. A dream come true. And we are going to take our Bible reading from the book of Genesis chapter 41, verses 14 to 16, 28 to 43. And Genesis chapter 42, verses 5 and 6. Also Genesis chapter 45, verses 4, 7 and eight we are going to read only selected verses this is chapter 41 verses 14 to 16 and verse 39 to 40. our friends joyce and samuel will be reading for us let us take our bibles and read along with them god bless you 14 then pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment, and came in unto Pharaoh. Fifteen. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. 16. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, for as much as God has shewed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. 40. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. Thank you so much, Joyce and Samuel. God bless you both. We read from the Bible passage that Joseph was in the prison, very faithful to God, and God was helping him 
Some of those people that were in the prison with him dreamt dreams in the past, and God helped Joseph to interpret these dreams to them. But in our today's lesson, it was the king of Egypt that dreamt a dream, and he was not able to remember the dream that he dreamt. He was not able to interpret the dream. And he called all his magicians that they should come and tell him the dream that he dreamt and the meaning. Unfortunately, none of them was able to help the king. Glory be to God. God remembered Joseph. And someone said, I know of that young Hebrew boy that was in the prison. His name is Joseph. He has done it in the past. He has interpreted dreams to people in the prison. Let us go and try him. Maybe he may be able to interpret this dream. And the king agreed and sent for Joseph. Joseph came to the palace. And the king said to him that he learned that Joseph, you are able to interpret dream. Joseph said, no, 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 no. I cannot do anything on my own, but my God is the one who will interpret the dream, who will tell me what the dream is all about. Glory be to God. Joseph put his trust in God. Joseph told the king, this is the, this is the dream that you dreamt. And this is the interpretation. For good seven years, there will be plenty of food. You will, your, your country will have enough. However, after seven years of plenty, there will be terrible famine. There will be lack of food. I will advise you. Look for a wise man who will be able to prepare a very nice place as a store whereby during the years of plenty, food will be kept for the years of famine. The king was amazed of the type of knowledge that God gave to Joseph. And the king said to Joseph, you are the wise man. From today, I will make you to be ruler of whatever that we have in this country. You will be the man to take charge of how we are going to store the food for the time of famine. Boys and girls, God remembered Joseph. I pray today that God will remember you. God will remember me for good. This brings us to our key statements. We state that God, please remember all the good plans you have for me and fulfill them. God remembered Joseph. Other countries were facing these problems of lack of food, famine. And Joseph's brothers came from Israel. Heard about plenty of food in Egypt. Behold, it was that young boy, the soul as a slave, Joseph. But this time around, Joseph has become a big man. They were not able to recognize him. But Joseph recognized his brothers. But he didn't show to them. And they all bowed down. What they thought they would never do. They thought they, nothing would make them to bow down. This was the dream that Joseph dreamt 
long time ago and they decided that for God to fulfill this promise, we will not allow it to happen. Boys and girls, whatever God has said in your life, whatever God has said in my life, God will bring them to pass for good, for his own glory. Joseph brothers thought that they can stop God's plan in the life of Joseph. No way they bow down. What they thought they would not, never do, it comes to pass. Activities for the week. Ages 2 to 5. God planned it. Help Joseph find his way from prison to ruler of Egypt. He must first pass the prison keeper and Pharaoh. Ages 6 to 8. God's plan worked. Begin at start and choose the right path to help Joseph complete his journey. God bless you. That's the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Our next week lesson is lesson 14a, titled, Wash the Signals. Wash the Signals. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday School. I hope you all had a wonderful week. It's great to have you here once again. The title of our lesson today is Be Ready. Our Bible text is taken from Matthew chapter 24 verse 36 to 44 and Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28. But later on, we'll only read selected verses. Do you remember the memory verse? I'm sure that you all learned it at home. So let's recite it together. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Matthew chapter 24, verse 44. Well done, that was well read. Our selected Bible text is taken from Matthew chapter 24. We'll start from verse 36. So please take your Bible and open along with me as we read. Matthew chapter 24 verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. We'll go into verse 42. What therefore? For ye know not what are your Lord does come. Verse 44. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Put your Bible to the side as we continue the lesson. What can you see on the screen? There are certain events that take place and we know exactly when they are going to happen. An example is the new year. We all know that the new year that we celebrate is usually on the 1st of January every year. So we expect it because we know it's coming. Another thing that I know that's on my calendar and I expect to happen every year is my birthday. On the same day every year, I celebrate my birthday and I expect it to happen in the following year because it's always the same day. So you see, there are several events that we know when they're going to happen and we expect them to happen. As we go through our lesson today, we would see a very special event that we know is going to happen, but we do not know when it would happen. But 
as the title of our lesson says, we want to be ready for that very special event. The Bible lets us know that in the time when Jesus was on earth, there was a pool at Bethesda where an angel came and troubled the water. And each time the angel did this, the first person to enter into the water got healed of whatever diseases they had. The people did not know when the angel would come, so they always had to be ready because they knew the angel could come at any time. So they were always close by, ready to get into the pool as soon as the angel troubled the water. There is something that's quite important from our Bible text. It is, be ye ready. You might wonder, what does it mean to be ready? The dictionary lets us know that being ready means to be prepared. Also, it means to be able to act immediately without any hesitation. Remember what I said about an event I know and expect every year? My birthday. If you were to prepare for your birthday, I'm sure you would do a lot to make sure that the day is special. You would do everything you can to prepare for that special day because it is special to you. So if we go to that extent to prepare for our special occasions, how much more do we need to prepare for the most special occasion, which is the second coming of Jesus Christ? You might wonder, how do I prepare for this special occasion? The first thing you need to do is to be saved from your sins. The Bible lets us know that God does not like sin. And it beholds those that sin from afar off. It was nothing to do with them. So to be ready for that special day, we have to make sure that there is no guilt in our heart. Truly, we can say that we have been saved from our sins. We have confessed them. We have forsaken them. And we are confident that God has forgiven us. And more than that, we need to make sure that we're constantly walking and having a close relationship with God. By reading our Bible, spending time in prayer, praising and worshipping God at every chance that we can. By doing that, we're making sure that we're ready for that special day. Remember the story in our lesson? Seth was not ready for that special day and he knew it in his heart. So the same with us. When we are not right with God, when we're not ready for that special day to come at any time, we would know it in our heart, just like Seth did. But what we do not want to do is to be like Seth and think, well, I'm still very young. I can still go to God later in the future. Remember, as the Bible says, we do not know when that day would be. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be next year. It could be 10 years to come. We do not know when that day would come. Also, it could come individually by the way of that. Or it could be the rapture itself. Because we do not know so much, but yet we know that special day is coming, we need to always be prepared. We need to make sure that we are ready. Remember in the Bible, the story of the 10 virgins. We find that in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13. All the 10 virgins knew that the bridegroom was coming. Just as we know of the second coming of Jesus, but only five were ready and the other five were not. The Bible lets us know that those that were not ready were cast out 
and left in the darkness. We do not want that to be our story. We want to be ready, like all of Seth's family were ready. We want to be prepared so that when that special day comes, we would be able to go with the Lord. And that leads us to our key verse. I will be ready when the Lord comes. Let's take that together again. I will be ready when the Lord comes. Amen. That is the testimony that each and every one of us want to have today. The activity for this lesson is displayed. Complete the music sheet with the code provided. Next week's lesson is lesson 109, the rapture. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for time in your presence. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the primary powers and how you've taught us to be faithful like Joseph was. Please help us to be faithful in all that we do. We thank you for the answer lesson where you've taught us about the need of being ready for that special day. Please, Lord, help us to prepare. Help us to be ready and to reign with you forever. Thank you, Lord, for we know you will do this and much more. For in your mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. And I hope that you were blessed by the lesson. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.